when front teeth start turning dark and they've already had root canal treatments, there is an option um, that we can do before crowning the teeth or putting veneers, and it's called internal bleaching. This patient here sent us some selfie beforehand showing the tooth is turning yellow. Nicely done root canal, very conservative access, but it was a little bit too lingual, so uh, we suspected there were some pulp horns that harbored some of the dried blood from the pulp that the iron in the blood tends to show through the enamel and it turns dark. That's what's believed to be really causing internal bleaching is the soaking of the previous pulp remnants. So we reaccessed this tooth under the microscope uh, and you've seen in other videos I like the 850 and 858 diamonds to open them up a bit, open the pulp horns conservatively. And again, this was done, it's called the walking bleach technique. It used to be in the 80s that they used to put uh, sodium perborate and superoxal paste and heat it up super, you know, super hot and cook the tooth, um, leading to all kinds of uh, side effects. But here, we clean out the tooth carefully using the long shank round slow speed burrs, really inspecting the walls under high mag. And uh, kind of a nice thing to have is a microscope in, in assisting us to do this better. An old technique, revised, and very useful today. Uh, we put a little cavet plug over the gutta percha. Uh, it's thought that this plug, uh, this cavet plug, prevents uh, cervical resorption. Um, I don't know how realistic that is with milder, milder chemicals used and no more heat, so, but we still do it as part of protocol. We wipe away the cavet off the walls and to let the bleach really soak in the buckle wall. And in this case, I use the ultra dense new bleach. It's very easy to flow into the canal. I don't have to mix anything chair side. And again, it's it's important to tell patients, you know, this is a technique we use. There's a lot of variables involved. It's not 100%, but it can, you know, save them on costly dental treatments like veneers and crowns. And even if a veneer and crown is necessary because the bleach isn't perfect, um, it would make the underlying tooth structure whiter and the, ble the veneer and crown would look better. So I like to put cavet to close it. And it's, you know, just I like doing this part, it's kind of fun. And we close it and it's easier to remove. A week later, the patients come back um, if they're happy with the new shade. We take out the bleach and the cavet and restore the tooth with a composite, as in this case. And it's typically done all under the microscope again. And it looked really nice. She was happy with the result. And you can see on the x-ray, retreatment wasn't done, no new crown. Just did a new restoration after the bleach. Again, she sent us this picture. Sorry for the quality. Thanks, and leave me your comments.